Hello, welcome to Keith's ESL channel. Today's lesson is a Big Think lecture by Ryder Carroll. The title is Why Thinking on Paper is a Fast Way to Focus. Here's what we need to do. Number one, click below to download the presentation slides. Two, watch Ryder Carroll's lecture one time. As you watch, take notes. Number three, I will explain the key vocabulary and expressions. Four, watch the video lecture again. Five, answer the comprehension questions I have for you at the end. Vocabulary and expressions one. Kind of is an expression we use to soften bad news. Mom, I kind of failed my math exam. We often kind of forget. There's some ugly truth we want to make softer, kinder. Parrot as a verb or spit back. You have a class, you memorize the answers and write them on the test without really understanding what they mean. Students just parrot back the definitions, kind of parroting the source, memorizing and using without understanding. Distill, to get the essential meaning or ideas from thoughts, information, experiences, etc. Very similar to summarize, distilling information in real time. As someone is talking, you find the main points. So means therefore. Also, we say so, then we change the topic of our conversation. So, how was your math test? So, how's it going? Journal is used as a verb in this case. I journal every night, I write a journal every night. Same thing. Bullet journaling is a simple journal. We don't write long sentences. We write main points after bullet points, like on a web page. Unplugged means analog or without an internet device. As soon as you engage with the page, you are unplugged. The idea of you, pen, paper, that's it. Replicate, to copy something exactly has not been accurately replicated in the digital space. Vocabulary and expressions three, get caught up in. You participate or join something without meaning or intention. People who get caught up in the rush of everyday life, take back or reclaim someone steals, someone takes from you, you take it back. You reclaim it, you get it back. It's a moment that you can take back. Fatigue may be a verb or noun. To make tired, to become tired. Decision fatigue, you go to the ice cream store, you just want one kind of ice cream, but there are so many types, so many varieties, it's too much for you. That's decision fatigue. Literally is the opposite of an idiom or exaggeration. Your friend tells you, I have 10 dogs. What? You're kidding, right? No, really, I actually have 10 dogs. Inundated, overwhelmed, you have too much information, too much stimulation. It makes you tired exhausted, we're constantly inundated, we have too much stimulation. Questions. You should pause the video after each question. Answer the questions either out loud, on paper by writing, or just thinking in your head. One, what is Carol's main idea? Where does he state it?
Carol's main idea is that we can express ourselves better and more clearly by using pen and paper than on the computer. Where does he state it? He states it right there in the title and at the beginning. Uh, in English, that's very important. Usually we state our main idea at the beginning and then give supporting details in the text. Two, does your experience support or contradict Carol's main argument that writing by hand is different and possibly better than typing? Explain. This is a subjective question. Everybody should have different answers and opinions. Personally, I agree. When I write by hand, it's clearer, better thought out, and more intelligent than when I use the computer. You may be different. Three, what is the meaning of the weight of the pen? Why does writer Carol mention this detail? I would say that the weight of the pen is a detail. It gives the person the feeling, some description. It adds interest and feeling to the passage. Four, at the end of the lecture, writer Carol states that we are forced to make many decisions in modern life. What example can you give to support this argument? Again, this is a subjective question. It depends on your experience and opinion. When I go to the coffee shop, there are just so many possibilities. The size of the coffee, what kind of coffee do you want? What goes in the coffee? How much is it? There are just so many possibilities. I find that a little overwhelming, a little bit too much. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe. Until next time, Keith's ESL channel.